what are they? Love the clouds and the cloudy music. It's really a, a great pleasure to be here. I've been to Lisbon many times, and Portugal is one of my favorite countries to come and speak. So thanks for having me. Uh, I'm here today to talk to you about digital transformation and the future. So my company is called The Futures Agency, and we have an important motto. And the motto is, it wasn't raining before Noah built the ark. In other words, we have to think about the future before the present gets bad. For example, if you're in the music business 10 years ago, you could have known that music is moving to the cloud. Spotify, Simfy, iTunes, radio, right? But the music industry said, we don't want music to move to the cloud. It's not good for us. But what we have today is that music is in the cloud anyway, right? YouTube and other channels for free. So it's very important to look at the overall patterns. That's my, my job, really, uh, in a nutshell, and to bring it down to a couple simple points. And that's what I will try to do for you today. I mean, when, when you guys use WhatsApp, you guys have WhatsApp, right? It's like, going, like asking if you're going to go to the bathroom later. Everybody has WhatsApp. Right? When you use WhatsApp, you don't need the telecom. Right? You just need the internet connection from the telecom, right? Do you know how much money SMS makes from telecoms? Used to make? $300 million every day worldwide. Do you know how much of that is shrinking? Right? It's going to shrink to 20 million, over 90%, because of these kind of apps. Right? So first, communications will move, and then revenue streams will become part of screens. So the best thing you can do for the future of whatever you're doing, e-commerce or selling things or media, is to look at screens. What's going to happen with screens? They want entirely different things. They have different lifestyles. If you're a bank today, if you're in the banking business, you're in deep trouble, right? Because digital immigrants are still there. They're not leaving. But as Bill Gates said, we need banking, but do we need banks? I mean, today, you can send money on the mobile phone. 56% of money transactions in Africa are done through mobile device, a service called M-Pesa, mobile money. So you have to think about how you're going to move those eyeballs you know, from the immigrants over to the natives. That can be a tough mission, because they're very picky. They compare everything. So the key to the future is to kind of think about digitally native offerings, you know, things that only work because we have the mobile, because we have social, because we have the cloud, because we have big data. And here's the funny part. When I worked in the music business, they told me, first thing, this was over the last 10 years, right? first thing they told me is that they want to do business despite the internet. Right? They came from the other way and said, we want to figure out how we can survive even if the internet goes on. I'm like, well, let's turn it around and say, how can you survive only because of the internet and because of technology? That is the question you have to ask. We have to create an ecosystem around the big data. We have to make sense out of that data, not just have the data. We have to think about return on involvement. How will our customers give things back to us because they like us, because they like what we do? We have to go back to the right brain. Our future is not going to be in crunching numbers and creating business models that a computer can do. Right? It's going to be about creativity, about coming up with new ideas. Technology is crucial how we interface information and whether we can reach that human factor through it. And finally, let's not forget, we weren't downloaded, we were born. Thanks very much for listening.